Hello and welcome back to my Premier League Team of the Month series where this time we'll be looking at December. Now I'm sorry this has taken a while to come out, I usually get them done probably about a week ago, like kind of in the first week of a month, but to be honest I've just been slacking a bit with getting it done. But nevertheless it's here now, so we'll have a look at what I've decided to go with. Now most positions actually were, I'd say easy, but it's almost difficult because some positions actually had a lot of options for positions like centre back, centre mid, some of the wingers. I did still struggle with up front, I believe. There's the strikers, I think there wasn't really any that scored more than three goals. But yeah, let's have a look at what I went with. So starting off in goal, we do have Emi Martinez. Now, it's been a great month for him and for Villa, mostly. As they do go unbeaten with some tough games in there. Now, they kept a lot of clean sheets in this time as well. I believe they went over 360 minutes without conceding with the clean sheet against Wolves in their 1-0 win. Burnley 0-0 draw. Their 3-0 win over West Brom and their 3-0 win over Palace before finally conceding in their draw to Chelsea. But even then, that is a great result for a club like Villa. And yeah, Emi Martinez was keeping shots out the entire length of it, including a man of the match performance against Wolves. So, to be honest, there was no other real choice for starting goalie. We're coming in at sub-goalie, it is Burnley's Nick Pope. And to be fair, i say there was no other choice. He did have a genuinely good month as Burnley finally start to get a bit of wind in their sails some great results with draws against Everton and Aston Villa and beating Arsenal, Burnley and Sheffield United. All besides that one loss to Leeds, it was a great month for Burnley and Nick Pope was kind of stand out throughout. He gets man of the match against Arsenal and Aston Villa. I remember the Villa game particularly, he was just stopping everything that came his way and got on their nerves heavily. That Villa would probably be disappointed they didn't win that game in the end. But Nick Pope and Burnley sure weren't and he ends up as the sub goalie for my team of the month. Now moving on to defence now, and at right back we have Mason Holgate. Now this was the first month he finally got a proper look in to the Everton side, which thankfully for him, but not thankfully for Everton, is due to a lot of injuries. But he certainly made good of his, good of his chance, as Everton did win all four games with um, Mason Holgate in the team. And he even managed to get a goal, I believe, against Leicester, which he also was man of the match in that game as well as being man of the match in the Sheffield United win. So a lot of narrow wins there for Everton, but certainly big wins as they got themselves looking more towards Europe again. And that's why Mason Holgate is my right back in my team of the month. Coming in at first centre-back and also from Everton is the Colombian Yerry Mina. Now same again, obviously part of the Everton team that did have a very good month in the end. I believe he did play one more game than um, Mason Holgate. He also featured in that Burnley one all draw, which is maybe their only down point of the month. But Yerimino, as I said, also had a good month. Managed to get himself goal and man of the match in the two on whenever Arsenal. Some other genuinely decent performances in all other games. Is why he's my first centre back in my team of the month. Joining him at centre back will be Leicester's Wesley Fafana. Now he's got a lot of kind of traction towards him so far this season. A lot of people considering his age have been impressed with how good he's looked already in the Premier League because you have a lot of people come over from other leagues and struggle to initially adapt and especially more so at a young age when you look at people like Kai Havertz for example. But Wesley Fofana has generally kind of taken the league straight into his stride and had a great month with Leicester as he pretty much performed in all games even when they were losing and struggling he seemed to still be in good performances like even the 2-0 loss to Everton he was still probably one of the most stand up players in that game. So it's kind of hard to look past him and he joins Yerimina at centre-back in my team of the month. Moving on to left-back now and it is maybe a bit of a surprise but they have had an upturn in form is Anthony Robinson of Fulham. As I said before they were struggling rather heavily, not Sheffield bad but kind of the next in the pecking order after that. They did manage to actually put a good run of games together this month. Obviously starting off with the 2 0 loss to City but that's kind of unavoidable. But after that, it was, I believe, four straight draws to Liverpool, Brighton, Newcastle and Southampton. So although they can't seem to be kind of getting three points at the moment, those draws are a good place to start. And he managed to earn himself a man of the match in the game against Liverpool, which is probably the hardest game they had this month other than Man City, I suppose. But to shut down Liverpool's wingers, which have been kind of good without question for the past two or three years, a very hard job to do and he managed to do it very well so that's why he's left back at my team of the month. And now in sub defender is Aston Villa's Courtney Horse. Now it is kind of I'm surprised 
from looking at a year ago that I'd ever consider Courtney Horse or something like this, but getting a bit of a look in in this month due to like a couple, well, I wouldn't necessarily say injuries, just kind of heavy workload for some of these defenders. He managed to play 90 minutes in four games against Burnley, West Brom, Palace and Chelsea, which of course they went both unbeaten and claimed three clean sheets in those four games. Besides the Chelsea game, which may be one of the only blips on it, and even then he wasn't that bad at all, he was incredible against Burnley, West Brom and Palace, even scoring against Palace in their 3-0 win. So it was kind of hard to look past Courtney Horse or consider him at all, or not consider him. So that's why he's our sub-defender in my team of the month. And moving on to midfield now, and it's probably one of the most stacked areas in terms of talent that we've had in the team of the month so far, and open it up is Liverpool's Mohamed Salah. Now he was the busiest in terms of goal contributions this month with seven, made up of five goals and two assists. Although maybe some Liverpool fans might claim he's not been to the level they're used to from the Egyptian, especially with the way Liverpool ended the month with those draws at West Brom and Newcastle. In the start of the month he was pretty electric, scoring in their draw with Fulham, which was a bit of a down point for them, but also grabbing a goal in that important win over Tottenham and with two goals and an assist in that 2-1 win, 2-1 win, <laughs> certainly wasn't 2-1, it was 7-0 over um, Crystal Palace. I did also forget, because I'm an idiot, the goal assist that manned the match to kick off the month in their 4-0 win over Wolves, which was rather impressive. So, yeah, couldn't really look past Mohamed Salah for this month, and he's the right mid in my team of the month. On to the centre mids now, and it will be Man City's Kevin De Bruyne. Now, I said we're stacked for talent, and it doesn't get more talented than Kevin De Bruyne. He opened the month up with a goal assist and man the match in their 2-0 win over Fulham, so pretty much ran that game. Did go a bit dormant in the 0-0 draw of Man United, but pretty much every player in that game did. Also, he played quite well, I believe, against West Brom, but again, probably a disappointing result for them to be drawing one all. But then assist and man the match over Southampton, and a good performance against Newcastle in their 2-0 win. It's certainly enough to get Kevin De Bruyne in my team of the month. Joining him at centre mid, and I said the talent continues, is Man United's Bruno Fernandes. He's continued his great reign of form pretty much since joining the club this month with a further three goals and four assists, including a two goal and one assist performance in the 6 2 win against Leeds, which was. It made a lot of headlines for good and rather interesting reasons in terms of some comments maybe towards Bielsa and Leeds' play style. That's enough about Leeds looking at Man United. They have now pushed to pretty much, I think they are still level at the top of the Premier League, which I would probably never see happening at all the way we started this season. But it's a good place to be now, and the main reason we're there is because of the talent of players like Bruno Fernandes. So he is in my team of the month for December. Capping off the starting midfield, and again something I definitely never thought I'd be doing, is putting Amwell El Ghazi at left mid. He's had a great month in terms of scoring. Getting the only goal of the game, I believe, late against Wolves. He came on and scored a penalty, I think it was, in added time. And then a great performance, well, great performances in both 3-0 wins to West Brom and Crystal Palace. But to be honest, I'm saying he just looked better than I've ever seen him. He almost caught me by surprise that he could be that good. He then also got the goal in the Chelsea 1-0 draw. So five goals for Amaral Garzi is well, just incredible for his standards. And that's why he's at left mid in my team of the month. Making up the midfield spot for the bench is Thomas Suchek. Now, I, I mean, we kind of know what he's up to. He's pretty much just put on, well, not put on, he does a lot on the pitch, to be fair, but one of the main things he's been known for is scoring goals, which is kind of rare for a midfielder, but the success rate he has it with is well, just incredible, really, as he kicked off the month with Coles in the 3-1 loss to Man United and the 2-1 win over Leeds and ended it with a goal of Man match performance against Brighton. See, I could hardly look past the Czech Republic International, and he makes the midfield spot for my team of the week. Well, midfield spot, midfield bench spot for my, it's not team of the week here, it's team of the month. See, I'm not doing this with a script, as you can probably tell this time. I try to do it kind of freestyle, just because you don't get any better at it if you don't practice it. But you can see the pure mess I'm in right now. So yeah, try and forgive that as we move on to the forwards. And opening it up is Liverpool's Roberto Firmino. Now, I did say I struggled with strikers, and I believe he was the highest scoring with three and they were pretty much scored in two games. So I'm not doing the best of sell him here, but he was so good in those two games that I had to put him up front in this starting lineup. Those two games came against Tottenham, which, as I said, was very important, and he got that late winner and man the match in that 2-1 win and showed him probably his best performance of the season and probably in a long time 
with two goals and assists, and that 7-0 win over Palace to earn himself man of the match. Now, he maybe wasn't too active in some of the other games, but I think it was just enough to put him in the starting lineup for my team of the month. And joining him up front is Leicester's Jamie Vardy. Now, as I said, Leicester didn't maybe have the greatest of months. There were some good results in there for sure. Although that 2-0 loss to Everton was pretty drab. But the 2-0 win over Tottenham was a highlight. And there were some other decent wins in there. As Vardy scores against Sheffield United. In their 2-1 win. So it would prove to be quite an important goal. Then got a goal and two assists. In their 3-0 win over Brighton. And a goal and man a match in that big win over Tottenham. So again, maybe not the greatest for Vardy's standards. But it probably was enough to get him starting. Which kind of shows you the talent that Stryker gave us this month. Finishing off the team as the striker's sub and somewhere you've never seen for Tottenham unless he's been rested is Harry Kane. Now again, he did probably have not the greatest amounts of his standards but showed up in enough kind of games to earn them points to be considered. Most notably in the North London derby where he got a goal and assist and man the match. So though not the greatest month for Harry Kane and even Tottenham standards, I think showing improvement in an area he's been criticised this season and that's shown up in big games it's just about enough for him to earn the bench striker spot and the final spot in my team of the month. So there you have it, that is my team of the month for the Premier League for the month of December. If you agree with me, leave a like and let me know in the comments. And if anyone that you disagree with or think I left anyone out, then also let me know in the comments. Now we've got another busy month with January coming up. Hopefully I can get that one done a lot earlier than 12 days into the month when it comes around. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.